God bless everybody. I thank God for you. We made it to July 2021. It's a blessing to be alive today. So many people plan to celebrate their birthdays in 2021. Some made uh, reservations to go out of town. Others made uh, different um, plans to go on a cruise or other senses of um, places of pleasure. But the truth of the matter is that many of them did not make it, but you and I made it. And so we are living, hallelujah, by grace, and we are experiencing what other people haven't been able to. But I want to take this moment to join you as we praise God for his goodness, thanking him and expressing what we believe in God to do. Amen. So let's go into prayer. Hallelujah. It's part of my Father's Day gift, those LED lights. <laughs> Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you because you are the light of the world. We praise you because you kept us this far. We thank you, God, for making ways out of no way. Thank you, God, for restoring our souls when we are down and even feel like we are dying. Thank you, Father God, for being the lifter of our head. Thank you, Father God, for redeeming our lives from destruction. Thank you, Father God, for crowning us with loving kindness and tender mercy. Thank you, Father God, for lifting us out of every pit and every trial and every temptation. Thank you, Father God, for making a way out for us. Thank you, God, for keeping us as the apple of your eye. Thank you, God, that when Abraham made a covenant, he cut, hallelujah, uh, two pieces of animals in half because during his day, if anyone walked through an uh, offering like that, it means that they are making a covenant and they will not break it lest they be cut in half. And Abraham fell asleep, but God, Elohim, Jehovah, Yahshua walked through it because he's the only one that will keep his covenant. And I thank you for keeping your covenant towards us even when we don't keep it. Thank you, Father God, for being committed. Thank you, Father God, for being our fortress, our constant support. Thank you, God, for being faithful. Thank you, God, for being our way maker, our miracle worker, our mind regulator. Thank you, God, for strengthening us when we felt like we was going on empty. Thank you, God for adding when we thought we was being um, de decreased and being diminished. Some of us didn't know we was going to make it, but we survived this pandemic. We are surviving this, this, this chaotic time because you are loyal. You are persistent. You are faithful. You are God. Hallelujah. There's no one like you in all the earth. There's no one greater than you. There's no one above you. You are the great I am. And you're not who I was. you the great I am. And that lets us know that you are the ever-present God that's available to do above and beyond our wildest dreams right now. So right now, God, we thank you. Right now, we expect great. We we expect the miracles. We expect signs and wonders. We expect divine intervention. We expect, hallelujah, you to show up and to show out. Let the rivers of heaven flow. Let the provisions flow. Let it flow in this month. We thank you, God, for breathing on ideas, witty inventions, whatever we put our hand to. We believe in you for increase promotions, bonuses. We believe in you, God. Hallelujah, that doors will open, grants will be given, hallelujah, loans will be given, second chances will be given. We declare in the creed debts will be paid in full. We declare that things going to be dropped off of people credit reports. We declare in Jesus' name that those who desire property, those who desire Hallelujah. Uh, things that their budget cannot sustain. We believe in this month for favor, supernatural favor. God told me one time, child of God, that I don't need your paycheck to give you what I want to give you. And that helped me to remember always that God is our source. Hallelujah. Money is our resource. Credit is our resource. Hallelujah. But God is the source and you can run out of the resource. But long as you got the source, you are never broke. You are never helpless. God is our source. So today, God, we look to you in this month to be the source of our victory, to be the, the focal point, the cohesive glue between our opportunities, 
our desires and the blessings. We look to you to be the glue, the bridge. Hallelujah. 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 I thank you, God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. For you are the creator, God. You the God that even create things through us. And I thank you, God, that there are some ruins in our life. There are some things that may look like, hallelujah, the um, an ancient Aztec city just completely ruined. But the good news is that God sometimes will move us out of a situation to put us in something great. And other times he may keep us in that place so we can turn that ruin into a palace, a renovated palace. We could turn that desert into a watered garden. God Almighty, Lord of glory, if he took the avoided earth that was chaotic and he spoke and the Bible lets me know that he made that voided earth, that voided planet into a glorious, beautiful, flourishing planet. And God is able to do the same thing for through you and through me. Hallelujah. Today, God, I thank you for another chances, for marriages to be restored, for homes to be restored, for businesses to be restored. Hallelujah. I'm praying right now for someone who's seeking reputations to be restored and, and, and praying, God, for uh, things to turn around. God, I thank you for justification. I thank you for vindication. I thank you, God, for what the enemy wished to do to stamp a person for the rest of their life. Hallelujah. I thank you, God, that you died for what the enemy tried to write against us, the labels, the restrictions, the hindrance, the stigma. Hallelujah. I'm too young. I'm too old. I'm, I'm, I'm a woman. I'm a man. I'm black. I'm, I'm an immigrant. God, I thank you today that what you wrote concerning us is greater than any ordinance of man. And even if the enemy was allowed to be successful in carrying out his assignment, I thank you, God, that today we oversee. We oversee. We oversee every evil prediction. We oversee every weapon that was allowed to form against our lives. We override it. We conquer it. We step above it. For it's written in Psalms 27 that you will exalt our head even above our enemies that comes against us. God, today I'm praying now, hallelujah, for new patterns. I decree new patterns of success, new patterns of, of, of breakthrough. Some are overcome with spirits of heaviness and we break it in Jesus name. We pray now that all spirits of heaviness will be released from off of us, off our minds. Oh my God, off the minds. Let this mind be in us, which also in Christ Jesus. Let this attitude be in us also in Christ Jesus. We cast down every imagination, every thought that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. We put on the helmet of salvation to protect our mind, to keep our mind in the right rhythm, in the right form of thinking. We declare and decree in Jesus' name that, our, that we take captive every thought and that goes against the knowledge of God, and we bring it into obedience. Father God, thank you that our minds is alert, not foggy. You know, there's a lot of attacks coming against the mind. There's people who are perfectly okay, but their mind has uh, persuaded them that they're not. Some people are claiming sicknesses. Some people are losing sleep. They are losing energy. They are not able to function. They scatter mind. They are being taught how to think and how to function, but I declare and decree in Jesus' name that the mind that God desire you to have is coming into fullness. Hallelujah. We declare that your brain is being, your, your mind, really your mind, your subconscious mind is coming to divine order. Hallelujah. Uh, that the enemy won't be able to put algorithm, algorithms in in your mind, we know we have algorithms on our well TikTok or on Facebook that you just automatically see stuff. But we declare that our mind will not be the playlist of the enemy, where he can just put different, a set thoughts in our mind. And our mind is actually our responsibility. 
Uh, but I know that God's anointing breaks the yoke. Some yokes need to be broken spiritually so we can have a reset, a mental reset. And I declare today in Jesus name that your mind would think clear in July. Your mind will be uh, seeking those things that are above and not beneath, that you will have clarity, that you have insight, that you will be able to have uh, the ability to follow through with the different things God drops in your spirit through visions and ideas that God will speak through your mind, speak to your mind. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, that your mind will, that our mind will not be our worst uh, feature. Hallelujah. Some people say their mind is, the, is their dark place. But God, I thank you that you have given us your peace to God, our heart and mind with Christ Jesus and Christ Jesus. And I thank you, God, for peace in the mind. I thank you, God, for clarity, it's mental storm ceasing. Today, God, we declare and decree that we will be in health. We will prosper, even as our soul prosper. Thank you that our immune systems are built up. By your stripes, we are healed. We thank you, Father God, that our lungs, our kidney, our pancreas, our small intestines, our large intestines, our heart, our eyes, our ears, our nose, our mouth. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, in the name of Jesus, that our bones are safe. Our bones are kept. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, God, that our strength is being renewed like an eagle. Good morning. I thank you, Father God, that according to scriptures, our bones of the righteous are kept. God, none of them will be broken. I thank you, God, that this month we will experience healing, rejuvenation over our body. We thank you, God, that our body is being detoxed from any, hallelujah, illnesses, any plagues, any bacteria, any, uh, 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 thank you, Jesus, forms of parasites. We declare and decree in Jesus' name that our bodies is healed. Thank you, God, that by your stripes we heal. You sent your word to heal us and to deliver us from destruction. I thank you, Father God, with long life you will satisfy us and show us your salvation. I thank you, Father God, that our bodies are being renewed like an eagle. I thank you, Father God, that we will be kept holy by the God of peace. We pray over our bodies today. We thank you, God, that no cancer dwell in our bodies. We thank you, Father God, that no illnesses, no flus, nothing, hallelujah, that will cause harm or damage to our bodies will take place. And just like you preserve the body of Moses, you preserve them in your glory. His face began to radiate like the sun. He was a hundred and still walking up mountains. Abraham was a hundred and still walking um, long distances. We thank you that even Joshua was a hun- almost a hundred and still fighting and stronger than men who were in their twenties. And we believe that the older we get, the more stronger we become. We believe the older we get, the more our inner man is renewed and, and refreshed. We declare the older we get on the earth, we are vibrant. We are enthusiastic. We are um strong. Hallelujah. We are clear minded. Our mind is alert. Our mind is sober. Hallelujah. Our mind is blessed. Hallelujah. We declare it in Jesus name that we will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Hallelujah. We would not walk in diagnosis. Hallelujah. We may be diagnosed, but we thank you, God, that your word will bring the cure that our participation and doing what's right will bring rapid healing in Jesus' name. God, we thank you today that our families is blessed. We declare peace, healing, strength, salvation, revival over our families. We declare strength, peace, revival, unity, a bond of um, peace around our families. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, God, for surrounding them from the pots of the enemy. We thank you, God, that they dwell in the secret place of the Most High and they abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I thank you, God, that our families is blessed. We declare the dreams of the Lord over our children, for it's written that in the last days God will pour out his spirit upon all flesh and your sons and daughters shall dream dreams and your, and they shall prophesy. Hallelujah. And I thank you, God, and I praise you that our children are, that great is their peace. 
Hallelujah. And I thank you that your word says that you will fight against anyone who fight against our children. God, I thank you for them experience a personal, intimate relationship with you in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Oh, God, I thank you for salvation. And I'm praying right now for breakthrough. Anyone who have children that's under bondage, under captivity, under uh, yokes of uh, of addiction, uh, incarcerated. Hallelujah. Just being or uh, maybe you don't know what your children is dealing with. God, we pray now. Hallelujah. That you will forgive us of our sins. Forgive our children. And we ask that you will purify their bloodline. Hallelujah. We pray right now, God, that you will save them, that you will heal heal them, that you will deliver them from the hand of the enemy. Hallelujah, Satan, we rebuke you. You will not claim the souls of our children. You will not own them. You will not use them. We consecrate them to the Lord. We declare our children are saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, fire baptized. Hallelujah, we declare in Jesus' name that our children are the head and not the tail, above and not beneath, blessed and not cursed. We declare in Jesus' name that their mind is coming back. Hallelujah, their mind is shifting back to their first love. Their mind is returning back to the God of their salvation. I pray right now, God, that they will taste and see that the Lord is good and his love lasts forever. Today, God, I thank you today. I thank you that today can make a difference. A day can make a difference in the lives of our children. And today is the day of salvation, that our children are experiencing an eye-opening moment. Their eyes shall be open. Their eyes shall be open. Their eyes shall be open. In the name of Jesus, oh, we declare their blind eyes are healed for it's written in 2 Corinthians 4. Yes, God, that the God of this world have blinded the hearts of the people so they won't see the gospel. But today we declare eyes be open. Our children are not spiritually blind. Our children are not spiritually deaf. We declare ears be open, eyes be open. For the Bible says if you're born again, you will see the kingdom of God. And we thank you, God, that our children will see the kingdom of God. For the kingdom of God is at hand. I thank you, Father God, hallelujah, that no new age philosophy, no new age agenda that's coming through the media, that's coming through music, will keep our children bewitched. In the name of Jesus, we our children shall not be the friends of this world. For the Bible says you cannot be the friends of this world and love the Father. For the world systems is against God. But Lord, I thank you today that you will bring our children out of darkness and into the marvelous light that they will become a royal priesthood, a chosen generation a precarious people in the name of Jesus that will show forth the praises of you who brought them out of darkness into the marvelous light. Thank you that our seed is mighty in the earth. Our seed is blessed. Our seed's heart have been circumcised that they may love the Lord their God with their whole being. I thank you, Lord God, today for our children. I thank you, God, today for our children. I thank you, oh God, for our children. Just like like the tribe of Levite. Every child born in the tribe of Levite was called to be a priest. They were destined to be a priest. They couldn't be nothing else but a priest because their father was a priest. Their mother was uh, from the tribe of Levite. And we know that if we say our ch- that that inheritance is for our children's children, and we believe today that our children are experiencing the God of their father, the God of their mother, in the name of Jesus. I remember reading in First Timothy when, or Second Timothy rather, Paul says, "I remember the bona fide faith that was in your grandma Lois and was in your mother Lunas." Eunice, and I believe it's in you too. So we thank you, God, for the 
circumstances that's coming around that will cause our children, hallelujah, to know the true God, to know the God of their parents. Hallelujah. You are the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Chris. You are the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Henry. May our children know that you are the great I am in spite of this wicked land that desire to put an antichrist mark on our children. Hallelujah. That wish to, to, to raise our children up with demonic Luciferian philosophies. But we declare that this is the generation of those who seek the Lord, those who seek him as their greatest necessity. We thank you, Father God, that our children are, are, are being surrounded by and we are being surrounded by divine helpers. We decree divine helpers in the month of July. People who are ordained by God to assist you, to, to bless you, to come to um, catapult you to the place God desire you to be. I declare they are coming in the month of July, just like the Magi. They came at the right time for Mary and Joseph, just like the, the ravens that came at the right time for Elijah, just like the, uh, the Midianites that came at the right time to give Moses wisdom. Um, I believe God is sending us divine helpers, divine uh, uh, relationships. Hallelujah. That's inspired by God. That's for God's glory. Hallelujah. Not by the will of man, but by the will of God. I thank you, Father God, that we won't miss divine opportunities, that we won't sleep. Hallelujah. In this month, I learned the Bible study, you know, this is the month of to, to moose and it, it's the shape of a door and I believe that God is opening up doors that no man could shut for you. He is shutting doors that no man can open. Hallelujah. It's important for us to see what the doors God is putting before us. Because I'm, I'm seeing right now a vision of a desert, but there's a door in the desert. And But once you open the door, you will walk through another dimension. And I believe that God wants to take his people to a new place. He wanted not just a new place, but he have these strategic moments in life that he already planned before the world was formed for you and I. And, and the Bible says that if they knew they missed the visitation of the Lord, they wouldn't kill Jesus. But Jesus wept because he knew they missed his visitation. I'm believing today in Jesus' name that you and your family will not miss the visitation of the Lord, that we will not miss that door he had for us. Hallelujah. We may be in a desert, but guess what? God put wells in a desert. God put wells in a desert. Hallelujah. Mm, God put wells in a desert. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 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 Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. When you are in a desert and you ran out of water and you find out that there's a well of edible water for you to drink, you realize you're not going to die. You realize that you can live. You realize that the heat and environment around you is not going to kill you. My God, and God is putting a, a well in your desert. Hallelujah. It could be financial. And it could be in your relationships. Hallelujah. I'm here to declare the rivers is going to flow. The well is going to spring forth in Jesus name. This is just all the notes that I've been collecting from my Bible study. Hallelujah. With uh, my church. And I'm just regurgitating it. Hallelujah. There's wells for us, people of God. And, and, and I love it because in the Old Testament, it says that uh, wells was a type of currency. Abraham was rich. And one of his riches came from the wells he had. And people tried to steal his wells, put dirt inside of it so his children would not be able to inherit it. Uh, the Philistines did it because they were jealous. But God allowed the wells to be reclaimed. And I'm believing that what God has for you, that the enemy is trying to stop, it will be reclaimed. It will be reclaimed. Sometimes we got to dig up the well. Sometimes we got to pray. Yes, yes, the wells of salvation will come to us. Yes. 
And, and we go to declare. And sometimes we got to pump that well. Sometimes you got to pump it. Hallelujah. Sometimes, excuse me, we have to take scriptures and meditate on it. We got to pray in the spirit. The fervent, effectual prayers of the righteous still avail of much. Hallelujah. Excuse me. And I just believe, hallelujah, that God is bringing a well in your desert. Hallelujah. 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 If you think about it, a well supplies the, the food. The, uh, to, to water the crops. The well provides the drinks for the farm animals. The well provides uh, cleaning supplies for the house and you and other uses. There are limited uses for water. And I know that if, if you ever felt like you need a sign that God is with you in your most scariest moment, he's there. Hallelujah. He's there. He's there. He's there. He's there. He's the source. 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 And there's and, and there's something I have to say. There's one seed that God can give you that can change your life forever. One seed. That seed can be an idea. It can be a witty invention. It can be a uh, it could be many things. God telling you to do something, an act of obedience. And that very act of obedience, hallelujah, my God, can change our life forever. My encouragement is in this month of July, allow God, hallelujah, to blow your mind. Allow him to blow your mind. Allow him to blow your mind. Um, anything else, God, you want me to pray about? Yes, Lord Jesus. And the United States, they're starting to reopen a lot of stuff in the month of July. They're starting to uh, bring a lot of bills that was held on extension into forefront. And I just believe in Jesus' name that we serve a God of that can do the impossible. The Bible says, Now unto him was able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all we can ever ask or think according to his power that worked for us. I'll be happy to pray for you. Amen. He's able to do exceedingly and abundantly. And I want to pray for you. I don't want to say your name wrong, but I'm going to say uh, PM, okay? Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you, Father God, that you are the right now God. You are the God of favor, and I decree favor over your people. Favor over your people. God, I'm going to believe you to do things that I just can't do right now. And yes, it's not for us to sit idle and be like, oh, God, go do it. He, there are things he wants us to do, but we trust in God to, let's say, remember when we, me and you learned how to trace? And I don't know about you, but when I learned how to write my name, often my parent will put their hand over mine. So while I'm trying to draw the H and draw the E, my parent would guide me to, to make sure I'm doing it the right way. And that's what God's going to do. He's going to overshadow you while you do what you do by faith because faith without works is dead. But I'm going to pray for you, PM, I, in the name of Jesus, that the Lord God will be your strength. And I hear the Lord saying, I am with you in this time. I'm with you in this fiery trial. I am the God that turns um, dross into gold, and I am burning up all the dross. Hallelujah. I'm burning up things that I don't need in you, but I'm causing the pureness of your faith to come forth in Jesus' name. Know that the trial, hallelujah, just like it took, it burned off the chains off of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and it was able to walk in the fire. Know today that I'm in a fire with you. I'm in a trial with you. Hallelujah. Nebuchadnezzar threw in three, but he saw four, and the fourth one looked like the Son of Man. Hallelujah. I am the Lord that keeps you in the fire. Hallelujah. And God wants you to know that the fire, hallelujah, is going to promote you. Hallelujah. When Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came out the fire, they was promoted. Hallelujah. And God is taking your life to another level. Allow him 
to, to, to go and, 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 and to allow this to happen. I just feel that in my heart that this had to happen. These things had to take place. Hallelujah. <laughs> but it, it's, it's not for your worst. It's for your best. Hallelujah. It's not for your uh, demise. It's, hallelujah, for your good. Jesus, I am with you, says the living God. I am with you, says the living God. I am with you. Hallelujah. I am with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. Hallelujah, Jesus. I'm with you. I am 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 with you, says the living God. I'm with you. 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 Never to leave you. I'm with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm with you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you to tap into that faith. I was I, I told I, I told someone yesterday. Uh, they looked at the book that I was reading. I was given a book on Father's Day and I looked at the person while they was checking my blood and I said to him, it's OK to have dreams bigger than your uh, your current budget. And they looked at me kind of strange. And I said, that's when we have to tap into our currency, which is our faith. Our, there's another kind of currency that God gives us. I'm not talking about pounds or dollars, pesos. I'm talking about the currency of faith. For faith, it, 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 it's, it's a currency in heaven. It's a currency in heaven. That's how we become rewarded. And, and, and there's tangible and intangible blessings that are released by faith. And I encourage you to find scriptures dealing with faith, meditate on it. As the scripture says, with man, some things are impossible, but with God, all things are possible. And what God is about to do in your life, it's going to take faith. It's going to take you believing him for the impossible. You can have 300, you can try to save $400 a month for the next five years so you can pay off a car. You know, when you go to the auction and there's nothing wrong with that, but what if you don't have the funds to really do that and God just say, just trust me. And supernaturally you end up receiving the same information about a car but now it's been dropped the price been dropped to the point where you can afford it why because you ask by faith because you believe God for the impossible some things Jesus and you know and I feel the heart of God God sometimes be thinking like why they don't believe me why they don't why they believe me for the mediocre stuff? Why they don't believe me for extraordinary stuff? I heard somebody said, um, wow, amen. You see, Sister uh, Chris, she gave a testimony. She received free cause by faith. Amen. Praise the Lord. Faith. It will, it's a currency. It's a currency. It could buy a lot of stuff. It can buy it can buy a possible things. Uh, and, and that's what I believe God want to express right now. Pray God sized prayers. Pray God sized prayers. Pray God sized prayers. Believe for God sized blessings. Mm. My 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 apostle said yesterday, one moment of favor can be better than 10,000 hours of labor. One moment of favor is greater than 10,000 hours of labor. 
I, I am charged this morning and for this month to believe God for the impossible blessings that can only come by faith. That can only come by faith. The woman with the issue of blood, she went out and touched Jesus, although she have heard from doctors for 12 years that there's no cure for your disease. No cure. She went to the best doctor. She used all of her money. But for some reason, she said, if I could just touch Jesus, I will be made whole again. Here's the ironic part. A woman who lose blood, a lot of blood, they get weak. If you donate blood, if you donate plasma, you you are you very tired and they tell you don't do a lot of string strenuous work but she was able to keep catch up with a perfectly healthy 30 year old man who's walking to Jairus house to heal his daughter but she reached and touched him and she was healed of an impossible disease that no man could cure why because she believed in the impossible Jesus said your faith had made you whole in this month, may your faith be your cure. May your faith be your cure. May your faith, hallelujah, change everything about your life this month. This is my prayer. This is my prayer. This is my prayer. Even starting today, may today be the beginning of you seeing your life change. Every area by faith. When that woman touched Jesus, virtue came out of Jesus. Why? Because she touched him in faith. You know, the Bible records people who believed God. Jesus went to some people who didn't believe him and they wasn't healed. But those who believed who he was, who he is, I'm sorry who he was. I'm sorry. Let me get out of my mouth. He's not a was. He's a is. And he's a will be. Hallelujah. From age to age, from generation to generation, he is the same. And so back to what I was saying, she touched by faith and the virtue left Jesus and it went in her body and it touched the source of her issue and it was no longer there. And then she was able to have some things now she's in good health. Now she can go around society again because no longer is she viewed as unclean. Then she was able to gain employment. She was able to uh, not suffer from a weak immune system. She's no longer fatigued. She's no longer um, tired. She's no longer drowsy. She don't have to feel embarrassed about her clothes being stained. She now can, 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 can have confidence to wear certain things and go places. Ah, she don't have to be in isolation no more. I'm talking about what faith can do to someone. Life. A man who was lame for 37 years. See, this is what I love about faith. It's never too late to walk in faith. This man was lame for 37 years. He picked, he was God say, rise up and walk. He picked up his bed and now he don't have to beg no more. When God heals us, when we believe by faith, it can change our tax bracket, bracket. it can cha change our lifestyle. A healing can change our lifestyle. But having faith in God can change our entire lifestyle in Jesus' name. And I just declare it so that our lifestyle can change just by faith. So this month, I encourage us to believe God. God bless you. Good morning, Elder Smith. Hey, man, God bless you. And I have to tell you that I am thankful to God for allowing us to make it to the month of July. I'm going to stop right here. And I'm just going to close out in prayer. Father, thank you for this moment to trust you. For you are able and you specialize us. And things that others think are impossible. We are complex beings and we got situations in our life that are very complex. But we know that you specialize us in things that other people think are impossible. Today, God, we believe for the possibilities 
of the most impossible situations we are in. And I remember writing this song that even if you don't give me what I've been praying for, I know that you can give me better. Yes. Even if God don't give you what you've been praying for, just believe that God can give you better. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why we can have joy. Joy deep down in our soul. Because he can give us better than what we ever prayed for. I believe closure is coming to you. Things that maybe disturbed your peace, regrets, issues of the past that made you feel like, you know, I, I'm, I'll be happy if this didn't happen or if this didn't change or if things were still the same way. God is giving... It, 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 it's, it's, I can't say, I want to say, yeah, he's probably shaking us because he wants us to shake off every excuse from fully embracing the peace that he has for us. We got to shake off the guilt, shake off the shame, shake off the anger, shake off the bitterness, shake off the woulda, coulda, should have, sh shake off the regret, shake off the excuses and fully receive what God has for you, the peace that he wants you to receive wholeheartedly. And a lot of times we say, oh, I receive it once I get this fixed. Once I change this in my life, I've received the peace. No, uh, we need a savior. <laughs> and, 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 you know, and some things we don't have to work for. Some things we can just receive. That's why it's called grace. I remember Heidi Baker went to see Bob Jones. Uh, Bob Jones was a uh, amazing prophet who went home to be with the Lord. And uh, she went to his house and, uh, and uh, yes, amen. Yes. Uh, so Heidi Baker, she's a missionary, a, a very powerful um, missionary and uh, apostle that live in um, Africa now, Zimbabwe, I believe. But she went to see Bob Jones, who was a uh, very renowned uh, seer. My God, he had great revelations. And she came to his house, was sitting at his living room, and he was rocking in his chair. And he smiled and said, God said, you, want, you need a cookie. And she looked like a cookie. I don't want no cookie. And a knock came at the door, and one of the neighbors brought over a fresh batch of cookies. And uh, she looking like, okay, this is weird. And he said, go, eat a cookie. And she was like, but I want the anointing. I want great power. I want to do this for the Lord. I don't want no cookie. I'm used to fasting for the anointing. I'm used to fasting for my breakthrough. I'm used to fasting to see change in my city. I'm used to fasting. And once she started eating the cookie, she started crying. And prophet uh, Bob Jones said, and that's how God wants you to receive his grace. You don't have to work for it. He's given it to you. And, and I thank God for that we are under the new covenant. Because if the new covenant was sometimes in agreement with the condemnation in my mind, I will still be working for the working to pay off the first sin I ever sinned against God. <laughs> but thank God the blood, the blood of Jesus, hallelujah, cleanses us from all unrighteousness. The blood of Jesus have brought us close to God. The blood of Jesus speak better than the blood of Abel. The blood of Jesus, it declares you are justified. You are justified. You are worthy. You are redeemed. You are blameless. You are innocent. You are forgiven. You are blessed. You are healed. You are the joint heir in Christ Jesus. You are a royal priesthood. You are a royal ambassador. You are, hallelujah, more than a conqueror. You are, hallelujah, the beloved of God. You are, hallelujah, the light of the world. You are, 
the salt of the earth. You are a living epistle. You are chosen. You are chosen. You are chosen. You are chosen. I feel that. Somebody been thinking that they not. You are chosen by God. Hallelujah. I feel that in my shoulders. You still chosen. And although you may be older, one thing for sure, when you, you can't retire now. God got work for you to do in the kingdom. You can retire now. And I love this new covenant we are in of grace. This new covenant helps us to receive what's freely. Oh, I love that scripture. Romans 8, 29 to 32, it says who he foreknew, he predestined, and he gave us all these blessings. But then it says that if he did not withhold his own son, but gave him freely, how much he would give us all things. And, and that's what I want you to receive. I want you to receive it. I want you to receive it, receive all God has for you. Embrace it. It's an amazing gift, amazing gifts God has for you and I. And, a, and, and a, the last story is a man went to heaven and he walked past a, a, a file cabinet that had his name on it. And he said, angel, my name is on this. And the angel said, you don't want to go in that room. Come on, let's go over here. He said, no, I want to see. And he went in a file cabinet and he said, what is this? And the angel said, this is everything God had for you, but you didn't want to receive it while you was on earth. Let us receive the fullness of what God had for us in Jesus' name. And one of the songs that, one of the lyrics from the songs the Lord gave me, I taught it to my children. And it was, all you have to do is try. You have one life to live and so much to give. Just give it a try, guys. Just give it a try. My last thing I'm going to read to you is a prayer. I think this is the best prayer to, 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 to end this. It's from Ephesians chapter 3, uh -huh, verse 16 through 18. Hey, man, I came back from vacation to the calling of my home state of Connecticut. Wow. Awesome. I mean, the truth of the matter is when I see your pictures, of that beautiful land, when I see the joy on your face, you like a new person now. Ah, I showed the pictures to my wife, and I'm like, I thank God for what he's doing in Sister Chris' life. Oh my God, the, your walks, you, you are radiating with so much joy. I love it. We are celebrating you in Maryland. And, 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 and I'm, I'm like, God, it's like your spirit is just radiating out of your body. Your body is trying to catch up with your spirit. <laughs> May he restore the years that seem to be eaten up. I feel the anointing. May he restore the years that the enemy have eaten up. Okay. Um, Ephesians chapter 16, let's read. Amen. May he grant you out of the riches of his glory to be strengthened and spiritually energized with power through his spirit in your inner self. Say amen. May he energize you with power through his spirit in your inner man, indwelling your innermost being and personality. Amen. I receive it. Amen. So that Christ may dwell in your hearts through your faith. We talked about faith, right? And may you having been deeply rooted and securely grounded in love, be fully capable of comprehending with all the saints, the width, the length, and the height and depth of his love, fully experiencing that amazing, endless love, and that you may come to know practically through personal experiences, the love of Christ, which far surpass mere knowledge, that you may be filled up throughout your being to all the fullness of God. 
so that you may have the richest experience of God's presence in your life, completely filled and flooded with God himself. I decree it over us today and let's agree and say amen, amen, and amen. Glory, hallelujah. Welcome to the month of July. Welcome to the month of July. Hallelujah. Being filled to the fullness with God. Hallelujah. Being filled to the fullness with God. True riches begin within. True wealth begin within. Thank you, God, for filling us with the true riches, which is you. You are the treasure. You are the source of every uh, expensive and rare and and, and valuable uh, commodity and, that this world can ever uh, create. You are the true wealth of the nation. And we receive you in our temple. We worship you, God, for helping us to understand and comprehend the depths of your love. We was wired to be loved. We was wired to respond to love. Hallelujah. May our every fiber of our being down to our cells, down to every organ. Hallelujah. Experience your love right now down to every personality may your love drown out every fear every fear for perfect love drives out all fear hallelujah every paranoia any addictions any bad thoughts any trauma any terrors any any triggers be drowned out by the love of yahshua Hallelujah, your love, your love, your love, your love, your love, your love, your love lift in me, your love, your love, your love is feeling me, hallelujah, hallelujah, thank you God for infusing us in our innermost being with your your energy that comes from the Holy Spirit. Energy, hallelujah, enthusiasm, zest, excitement. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh God, thank you for your love. You know, some people suffer from mental illnesses and it's because they suffered throughout life with a lack of love from being emotionally abused, being physically abused, having unhealthy perception of themselves. And that developed depression, that developed uh, bipolar. And there's a great Christian um, teacher by the name of Henry Wright And he said that bipolar is a result of people who haven't been loved correctly. And I thank you today, God, that this prayer is the answer, hallelujah, to a lot of issues in our life, the love of God. So we receive the healing that comes just from love. Love can heal anything. Love can heal everything. And love have a name. Yahshua Hamasiah. Adonai Yahshua Hamasiah. Adonai Yahshua Hamasiah. The Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you and God keep you. And God strengthen you. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Thank you Lord. Thank you for the prayers. Thank you for the prayers. Thank you. 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 Thank you for praying for us. Thank you. We love you all. God bless. Enjoy this new month.